Hi, I'm Dr. Kaplan, and this is your Daily Dose. Today's video is about cannabis and the COVID vaccines. If you're getting a COVID vaccine, you may want to take a few days away from THC and CBD. Cannabinoids can work against your body's reaction to mount the best possible immunity to protect you. For those who intend to get vaccinated, and I hope for the public good, that's almost everybody that is eligible, um, you may have heard that a healthy vaccine reaction can feel awful. As the body practices what ought to be a robust immune response to a foreign substance, the injection site often hurts. The body usually sounds an alarm of signaling molecules that can give us fevers and chills and muscle aches. All of these are signs of a healthy inflammatory response and that things are working as they should. In everyday non-vaccine related life, if you're feeling fevers and chills and aches, you might take anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen or Motrin, Aleve or Tylenol, Paracetamol to help feel better. Those medicines work by interrupting the alarm system in the body and calming down the immune system worker bees. While cannabis can be an even stronger and more effective as an anti-inflammatory and thus more of an obstacle to an ideal response to the vaccine. Some components of cannabis are very powerful anti-inflammatories. And to be fair, some cannabinoids and terpenes are not there are a few elements that actually increase a useful immune response instead of getting in the way. But the point of this video is to share the advice that considering the way most cannabis works in the body most of the time, um, it's primarily an agent that quiets down the immune system and does so in a really meaningful way. If you're serious about having the best possible response to the COVID vaccines, and if you use cannabis regularly, it's probably wise to consider dialing back your cannabis use at least during the few days just before and just after getting one of the two vaccines. Thank you for watching and stay safe.